Hey, today I'm going to talk to you about the new Firefox beta uh, with something very uh, interesting, which is hardware acceleration. Um, first, you, you have to know that hardware acceleration um, is something that will enable uh, ver a very significant jump in terms of performance in a sense that Usually, today's browser uh, render the page using a CPU, which is, a, a it's, which is basically the microprocessor of your computer. Uh, there is a very powerful piece of hardware inside the computer, which is the graphical uh, processor. And this graphical processor is, as of now, unused. But if we can leverage this piece of hardware, you will see uh, performance do a very significant jump, provided that you have the good drivers and, and the right piece of software. Um, so, right now, this is let me show you um, a web page. This web page, you know, it has a video, HTML5 video, and then you have text, and you have also uh, a footer of uh, fixed positioning footer with an image. So let me, uh, let me show how this is uh, computed uh, in memory. Uh, Firefox uses a system called layer compositing, where we divide the, the page itself into three different layers. One is for the video, and we do a hardware acceleration for the video. And then we have the text itself, uh, where we use DirectTD for uh, rendering uh, the text. And then uh, we also have uh, on the right uh, for rendering the image itself. Uh, in this case, we have an effect going on, uh, uh, which is a rotation over the image. And so this is what we do. We use the GPU also for, uh, for rendering this. Now, if we put things all back together, uh, this gives this, uh, this page. And this is called compositing, where we take the several layers all together and merge them into a single uh, image that you see on your screen. And this is, can be uh, done either by the CPU or we could also leverage the CPU, GPU. And this is what we do, and it goes much, much faster down the road. Um, and also, because we have WebGL uh, inside Firefox 4, this is what we do. WebGL is a 3D language for rendering 3D objects. So, so we have this pyramid uh, and this cube being rendered by the GPU, and it goes really fast. Uh, to give you a better idea of how fast we are uh, compared to non-hardware accelerated browser, let me uh, uh, show you a little demo written by my friend Paul Rouget. Um, Paul here has this, uh, this browser, uh, which is actually uh, Firefox 4 with hardware acceleration disabled. And it has these images. And what you'll see that we could do stuff with the CPU, but it's it's pretty slow and the, and the rendering is not very smooth as you can see, uh, but it does work. So you, you, get, you get the experience with not as good as, as what you could do. Um, and then, well, the browser is not that fast. As you can see, we get uh, 14 frames per second um, in this case. And let me show you the same code, but running inside uh, Firefox um, with hardware acceleration turned on. So I'll, I'll do that here. Um, and you see it's much smoother, way smoother, and performance is just amazingly better. So these are the two, you know, basically how you could compare um, a, a normal browser running on a CPU only and then the, the browser uh, using the CPU uh, and also leveraging the graphical hardware. It makes a lot of difference in terms of user experience and speed. This is what you will find in Firefox 4 Beta. Thanks for listening.